So the question is, should I go with a clickbaity title like Nintendo Direct uh, Reaction? Even though this isn't really a reaction because I'm recording this after uh, work and after everything's been announced. Yes, my tripod is giving me a whole bunch of sass. So, and of course, because I'm lazy and don't want to edit, I'm going to leave this in the video. So anyway, uh, well, I'm fixing my camera being, well, my tripod, I should say. Fixing my tripod to being ridiculous at the moment. It worked last time. Okay. And hopefully, the rest of the video could be about the Nintendo Direct. You know, I'm probably going to do an original title. Uh, or maybe I'll have an even more clickbaitier title. Like, Nintendo Direct sucks. But not really. Or, nah. Nintendo Direct was awesome, but I didn't watch it. You know what? Let's go with that one. Uh, yeah, this is actually more of a response to my predictions to see which, where I was right and where I was wrong. Uh, I didn't watch my predictions video before recording that. Probably should have, but I have a good idea what I said uh, or which ones I was serious. So Metroid Prime Trilogy, I'm going to get that out of the way was not announced as far as I know. I haven't even watched the Direct. I've just seen the trailers and stuff um, for the games that I was really interested in. So yeah, I have to really go back and watch the Direct in full. So yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one. <laughs> but anyway, you know, let me turn down my car. Anyway, so I'm not yelling. So, Nintendo Direct. We didn't get an announcement for Metroid Prime Trilogy, and which makes me believe it's not ready to be announced, or they're not even, they didn't even really plan to have a trilogy. Which, if that's the case, understandable, but if they do have a trilogy plan for, a uh, trilogy re-release plan for Metroid Prime series, they really should have announced it because with the void that is Metroid Prime 4 and having that restarting, oh, that's a missed my opportunity, but that's a nitpick because we did get some really big announcements that I'm excited for. Let's get the big one out of the way. Super Mario Maker 2, everyone called it, and I love some of the stuff we got, like slopes, I really love that, clear pipes, but yeah, essentially, I loved Mario Maker when I had it for the Wii U. In fact, that's the reason I got the Wii U was for Mario Maker. I got the bundle for Christmas. Yeah, I haven't played the Wii U since I got the Switch, but I'm glad that now I have no reason to have uh, the Wii U now, <laughs> other than the HD re-release of Wind Waker. Anyway, I'm really glad that's coming in June. I really can't wait to play that. I've been really dying to make some levels and play some levels. So I'm really excited for Mario Maker. Uh, Link's Awakening remastered for the Switch. I know they were going to do a 2D Zelda, but I was not expecting a HD re release for the Switch for, of Link's Awakening. But let me tell you from the trailer I saw, oh my goodness. It looks so adorable! Oh, I, I, I mean, Link looks... This has got to be the most adorable Zelda we're going to ever have. Like, I'm sorry, Wind Waker uh, cartoon Link. I love you, but look at the Link to Awakening Link. Oh my god, that is so adorable. I know I'm, I'm fangirling right now, but I can't help it. It looks so good. Man, that game looks beautiful. They did a, they did a fantastic choice on the graphics and the design. Oh, and I know maybe some newer players are wondering what the heck's up with Chain Chomp being in Zelda game. Well, thing is, Chain Chomp was in the original Link's Awakening. So yeah, uh, Chain, linking the Mario universe and the Zelda universe a little bit more. 
But, oh, the graphics look so gorgeous. I can't wait to play that remake. Oh. But, yeah, those were the two games that, uh, that really have me excited now. Uh, what we got for Smash? It was pretty much what I was expecting. You know, light announcement. And not even gameplay footage of Joker, but we did get an announcement of when he's probably... When he's most likely to drop, which is going to be in April. Uh, we did get a tease at his model. So that was really nice to see. And I wasn't even expecting anything big. Like, oh, next character announcement. No. When <laughs> the first DLC character has not even released, it's not a smart idea to announce the second one. Anyway, uh, what I was not expecting, that was a DLC for Captain Toad and co-op DLC. Which, okay, now I want to go get in and play with my friends. However, I feel like my friend and I will not get past the first level because we're going to just screw around. Uh, let's see, there's some announcements that I'm personally not excited for. Uh, Marvel, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. I haven't played the, other, the past uh, two games. Other than the Game Boy Advance version of the first one, so I'm not really into the series. Not kind of the into that RPG style game. Um, there's that uh, one game based on role playing. I forgot the name of it. it. Starts with an O. I believe Square Enix was developing that. I don't remember. I didn't bother to watch the trailer. It didn't pique my interest. Uh, Dragon Quest announcement. I'm not a Dragon Quest fan. And, uh, we did get a launch trailer for Final Fantasy IX. Even though a lot of people were expecting seven, including me, but Final Fantasy IX, I've heard, is a really good Final Fantasy game. That's why I've heard, or from the small amount of people that I've listened to about that game. Uh, and... Look, I like the Final Fantasy games. I have Final Fantasy 7 on my PlayStation 4 and uh, Steam. However, I just... It's RPGs. JRPGs in specific. I can't... It's hard for me to sit down and play to the finish. They are very time-consuming games. And I just don't have the time to play JRPGs. So... Yeah, it's like, I want to play these games, but they're just, they're so, there's too much to do in them, and it's overwhelming. I just don't have the time to really explore JRPGs. Uh, the only JRPG I can even get close to completing is Pokemon. Yeah, I'm, I'm a JRPG noob. But yeah, some things I expected, some things I didn't expect. But overall, I think the news we got from Nintendo Direct was really well. I don't... I, I That was horrible grit English. What the heck? Anyway, that's my thoughts. I'm probably not going to release a vlog of Lupin. Nobody really cares, but... Except for me. I'm not going to release a Lupin vlog for today, but they'll be back on tomorrow. But yeah... Just want to get my thoughts out for Nintendo Direct. And hey, see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.